All right, hello again, Oak Park residents. I'm Colton Dale. I'm your community engagement and development specialist. Right now, I have the privilege of virtually sitting down with Rob Barrett. He is our director of technical and planning. How are you, Rob? How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. We're doing the best we can. We're, we're hanging in there. <laughs> Good. You staying safe and healthy? Uh, we're doing safe. During these trying times, you can't be safe enough. Yeah. You know, we're following all this guidelines and governor's executive orders. Right, absolutely. Um, so let's jump into the questions here. So uh, first things first, uh, this, uh, the crisis itself and a lot of the executive orders have brought, a lot, brought on a lot of change. So my question is, what are some of the major changes uh, in the technical and planning department that have taken place since this crisis hit? Well, some of the major changes is, um, we've made arrangements for our clerical staff to work remotely and that includes answering the phones and also they have complete access to our software systems for the building department and the code enforcement. Uh, so we, we are open for business and if you call our 6917450 number, it will be answered and you will receive service. Our building division is doing limited inspections. Um, they are continuing inspections on state authorized uh, activities. And uh, another interesting change is similar to what we're doing now is we're conducting meetings via, via Zoom uh, for council meetings and staff meetings and, and these type of issues. <laughs> right. So, so it seems like there's a lot of changes happening. So what do all these changes mean for residents now? And what does it mean for residents going forward? Well, hopefully it doesn't uh, have a huge interruption uh, for them now. Um, we can talk into right now is you know, it's, it's going to be business as usual if our residents do want something done or they want to conduct business. <laughs> so uh, you kind of alluded to, to some of this, but uh, what, have, what have you and the TNP staff been doing to fill your time these past few weeks? Uh, and do you have any big projects on the pipeline right now? I just want to make sure everybody knows we do have code inspectors out there working on a limited basis and they are only addressing safety related issues uh, and being reactive, investigating complaints. Um, it, additionally is, you know, you know, not until the governor's executive order has been lifted and landscaping companies are allowed to resume, we will not be issuing uh, any warnings, notices, or tickets for grass violations. Uh, be rest assured, we're gonna be patient with the residents and, and all do what we can to do what it takes during these trying times. Yeah, I think that last point is really important. Uh, we've gotten a lot of questions about that. You know, uh, we can't have a landscaping company out. So is the city going to be ticketing? So that's really great to know um, that right now uh, the city will be forgiving uh, long grass and, and things like that. Um, so my next question, uh, what tips or suggestions do you have for residents during this time where we're all stuck indoors? I think everybody's been full of a lot of news and information, but you know, you can just be safe, be patient, be nice to each other. Uh, remember, it's not going to last. We're going to get through all this. It's yeah. just going to be tough times until it's lifted. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so my next question here is, is something I'm going to ask every uh, director. Um, and it's a little bit more personal. I want to know, Rob, what are you most looking forward to when this craziness is all over and we can get back to normal? Well, when this craziest, craziness is all over, I think one of the most important things I want to do personally is uh, visit face-to-face -face with my parents. Uh, they both have underlying health issues and we're strictly isolating them right now. Um, we're communicating them via phone and Zoom meetings and, and making sure they have groceries, but I can't, I can't wait to sit down and have a good long face-to-face -face visit with my parents. Yeah, 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 that's great. Yeah, I know we're all looking forward to that face-to-face -face contact again, that's for sure. Um, so uh, similarly, what are you most looking forward to uh, when this is all over in terms of your job here at the City of Oak Park, in terms of uh, the operations here? Well, personally, I'm really looking forward to restarting all the great economic development that was occurring uh, before this happened. Um, 
that include, you know, the construction projects resuming like the new Kroger's and the new Shiva High School and, and many more business and other items that we have in the works. Um, it's a very exciting time prior to this epidemic for the city of Oak Park. And I really uh, am proud of everything that's progressing and can't wait to get back to normalcy and, and see all these projects starting again. Yeah, I couldn't, I could not agree more. Um, so lastly, do you have any final remarks for Oak Park residents and business owners or any closing statements you'd like to leave? Um, I think it's been redundant, but I like everybody, you know, stay informed, make good decisions, be safe. And remember, um, this too shall pass. Absolutely. This too shall pass. Well, Director Barrett, thank you uh, for taking a, a couple moments here to sit down with me virtually and, and answer some of my questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Be All safe. Right. Yep, thank you.